Hello, this is Brother Rick Brown coming to you today to share with something, share something with you uh, while we hear a little uh, thunder in the background. I think some storms are hitting Corbin right now. Uh, I'm sitting out here on my front porch on Flat Creek uh, and I want to give my testimony. Can God answer prayer? A lot of people wonder about that. A lot of people pray for God to answer uh, so many prayers, so many things they ask for. I want to give you my testimony. This happened years and years ago. Uh, I'm guessing, man, it's been so long. Probably 10 to 12, maybe even 15 years ago, um, I was here at home. Uh, I had went into my daughter's bedroom, and I think she was staying the night at my sister's house, Sheila, at the time. And uh, so I, I wanted to find a place to pray. I got down on my knees and... I began to pray and call out to God. And this was probably around, I'm guessing, somewhere between 9 and 12 in the afternoon. <clears throat> and i uh, going to pause for this car to pass. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll speak up just a little bit because uh, I'm outside and the wind is rolling by. And you can see the clouds up here. Boy, well, this would be a good time for the Lord to come back, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm excited. These are exciting times, but there's the thunder again. Uh, so I got down on my knees and was praying, talking to the Lord. And the devil, who always hinders, the devil comes to see uh, to uh, to kill, steal, and destroy. Well, that night when I was praying, he came to take my life very seriously he I, I, I literally felt his presence come through the wall of my trailer right back there my daughter's bedroom which is about halfway through the trailer there and all of a sudden something gripped my heart and my left hand started going numb fingers and my hand started going numb. And it literally felt like I had a vice on my heart. Somebody was squeezing my heart. Well, it was the devil. The devil was trying to take me out. And, of course, I'm already praying. So I called out to God. I said, God, help me. God, help me. So I prayed. And I prayed. You know, sometimes you pray. And you're not going to get the answer right away. You might pray for weeks. You might pray for months. You might pray for years. It all varies. I've had prayers be answered years later. And I've had them instantly. I've been instantly healed. Well, this night, it took time. And I tried to call out for help. But nobody heard me because I just couldn't get above, I guess, a whisper. So I fell over on the floor in a fetal position, curled up. And I guess I clutched my heart. By now, my arm was numb. And I felt blood rushing up the back of my neck like my head was going to explode. And I said, God, help me. And I still remember he, he spoke to my spirit. Now, he didn't come through the walls screaming to do something. No, he spoke into my mind and calmed me and said, Rick, I want you to sing Peace in the Valley. Now, I, I knew this song. I hadn't really sung it that much at this point. And I'd heard other people sing it. 
But the first thing that hit me was, Lord, and, and I know a lot of people do this. I said, Lord, you want me to sing? I'm dying. You want me to sing? And he spoke again to me. And he said, yes, sing and live. You don't forget something like that. So I began to sing. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me. Oh, Lord, I pray. And first it was just a whisper. But I sang that song over and over, just barely singing. And I remember once the devil came back again, you know, and of course, this whole time, I I was dying. I was dying. If God didn't move on me, I was I was gone. That was my last day of life. And I I had used the bathroom on myself. And I thought about my children. I thought about my wife. And the devil, who hates you, don't forget he hates you. He spoke to me too. He said, your children are going to find you cold, stiff, and dead in the morning. Now that's who we're fighting against, folks. All of this mess going on, that's who we're fighting against. Don't you believe for a minute that it's anything else. It's the devil. It's right from the pits of hell. I kept on singing. Where the bear will be gentle and the wolf will be tame and the lion shall lay down by the lamb who oh, oh, yes and I sang and I sang you know the verse that says weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning I got louder and louder as the night went on and progressed no one came to check on me it was between me and the Lord and the devil. And when morning came, I was healed. Did I go to the doctor? No. There was no need. I had my victory. There's victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. Don't believe the world. Believe God. Believe that word. There's healing from those stripes that he bore before he went up Golgotha's hill and hung on that cross and sacrificed himself for our sins. It was over. Right then and there, it was over. Do you realize that? The devil has already lost. Victory's yours. I was healed. I've never been to the doctor for my heart. There's no need. God healed me. I kept on praying despite what the devil said. And I kept on praying. And I kept on singing. <laughs> there will be peace in the valley. I love to sing that song now. There will be peace. In the valley <clears throat> for me someday, there will be peace in the valley for me. Oh, Lord, I pray there'll be no more sadness, no more sorrow. Oh, there'll be no more troubles. I'll see, for there will be peace, peace in the valley for me.
I was healed, and you can be healed. Praise God.